Okay, here we go. <laughs> Why are you turning? Oh. God, I hate this setup. Okay. I miss my old mic stand. Wow, a whole minute of nothing. Hey guys, uh, Jonathan here. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different. I have uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I've got four. Well, yeah, I've got four videos of processes that I want to go over because I don't really think any of them deserve their own video. It's all kind of... Um, I don't know, it's all self-evident, but I thought it might be kind of fun if I went through, you know, a bunch at once. So the first one here is this robot dog cat thing. Um, I don't have the beginning part of it, I'm not sure where that went, and that's always, to me, the exciting stuff, so uh, apologies. I'm, I'm going to blow through this one pretty fast, but um, not a whole lot of, um, what am I trying to say? Okay, so this one I want is uh, this one is a robot dog cat thing, um, kind of inspired by today's uh, Boston Dynamics style drones, um, but with a more sci-fi bent. Um, when I started sketching this, I did imagine this thing to be enormous, like an AT-AT um, from Star Wars, but uh, I don't think it comes across, and so. Somewhere along the way, I made a mental decision to sort of shift gears and make it more like a a drone, or yeah, one of those walking things. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fast forward here. Um, I'm sort of my my approach on this one was to just make any boring area super complicated, <laughs> so that. Um, you know, it's not so boring to look at. And uh, by virtue of making it complicated, it looks futuristic and robotic and and um, impressive. Um, or at least I hope so. So um, I wanted to keep it in the realm of two color. Uh, no particular reason. I just really liked how the blue and yellow played off each other. And um, I think I added another color in at some point here. I think red. Yeah, I do. I add some red in. So, yeah, I'm just kind of speeding along on this one because there's really not a lot to say other than I just wanted to focus on surface quality and um, trying to make everything more or less uniform without doing copy-paste. So I wanted to make sure, you know, if the leg, if one leg has a shin guard basically looking thing, I want to make sure they all do. Um, uh, the toes are all right now all different shapes so I end up fixing that later um, the joint articulators or the I don't know what they are technically called but those rotating discs um, that look like screws uh, I wanted to make sure those are uniform um, I didn't want to get totally hung up on uniformity though so I made sure that its face was very uh, asymmetrical and technical like uh, kind of like a I don't know I don't know. If you took a motherboard and wrapped it around a cat head, <laughs> I guess. Uh, which, please, don't do. Uh, I don't think cats or motherboards would like that. But yeah, um, that's a, kind of what I was going for. So anyway, that's all I really want to say about this one. I'm fast-forwarding to the end. Here is the final render of this bad boy. Okay. Next one I'm going to go over is this environment piece. Um, this one I do have full video of, but it's kind of... I don't know. The fun parts are in the beginning, where I'm... Uh, the big takeaway is I'm just trying to find, uh, or I'm trying to block out shapes. So I know I want this thing in outer space. I know I want it to be like a moon base thing. I've been playing a lot of Destiny, and that's uh, kind of what I was going for. Um, <laughs> it ends up looking a bit naughty for a little bit, <laughs> uh, and then I, I paint uh, the, yeah, that goes away. Um, Two big takeaways. I don't know how to draw rocks. Uh, I draw them here, but they, all my rocks look the same. I, I, I just said this thing three times, but so what I did was I recorded this video, and then there just wasn't enough there to, in the video, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this video instead. These four, whatever, or three or four, however many I have. So yeah, um, uh, the big takeaway is I don't know how to draw rocks. Um, 
all my rocks I draw like when you put your foot through really packy snow. If you're from the Midwest or someplace cold, this analogy will make sense to you. And if not, you're, I don't know, whatever, good luck. <laughs> Google it. I don't know. But like uh, when snow is really, it, there are some times when the snow falls just right where it's really powdery underneath. And then on top, there's like this crust of snow. It's not ice, but it's a different textural density than the snow beneath it. And as a kid, I used to run around in my front yard and stomp holes in that snow because it was so satisfying. And what it does is it clefts apart. It breaks almost like uh, glass made of snow. And it looks really similar to how all these rocks that I end up painting look. So um, I need to study some other rocks, I think. Um, that's my big takeaway. Um, so I'm fast forwarding here. Um, finding shadow, finding shapes, I decided to paint um, a couple of these buildings into sort of a factory looking thing. The other big thing I want to focus on in this piece, a couple things. One is um, just environments in general. I suck at them, so I'm trying to get better. Uh, another is uh, the, uh, oh boy, what's the word I'm looking for? Atmospheric perspective. Uh, I want things to fade into the background. And I think I achieved that pretty well in this, although it this is, you know, the building block for hopefully something better. I know uh, there's more, to, there's more to learn. And then the third thing I really wanted to uh, capture was just surface quality differences. So um, by the end of this, I wanted the metal to look like metal, and I wanted the uh, rocks to look like rocks. And I think I achieved that. Um, well, obviously, a lot more work I could put into it. Um, maybe I should, but uh, for the sake of speeding things along here and. Moving on to the next fun project, I will stop here. So here's the final render of that. There we go. Okay, and then in this next one, um, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is really long, actually. I'm gonna have to fast forward this. This is just me sketching. So I, this is, I couldn't come up with any, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> this is a good example of when it just doesn't come together. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a good example of when it just doesn't come together, uh, and that's okay. So I'm just going to fast forward through all this. Uh, um, here is my weird Palpatine. Unlimited power! Um, here's an anime girl, or as close as I get to anime. Um, here is, I think I was going for like a girl on the ceiling, like aliens, kind of. I don't know why I was painting her from that perspective, though. That was the literal, or that angle. Whatever. I didn't like it. I moved on. Uh, I did like this one, but it's not really worth much more than what it is. So it's it's a Yeti. <laughs> I don't know. It's a Yeti. It's got a got a tree. Uh, here is a started as like a Chinese style dragon, and then I kind of saw Trogdor in it, so I made Trogdor. Um, and then I made a skull, and I made some. What is that? I don't know, man. They don't always pan out. This one I did like. Um, so this is uh, very artsy, um, which I, excuse me, sorry for the scratching. This is very artistic, which I don't um, commonly associate with. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Art and um, I, I don't know why, but I don't resonate well with these kinds of images. Um, or maybe I do, and maybe that's why I don't like doing them, because I've never made anything that's so evocative as like some of the images that I do like to see, um, that where you look at it and you're like, oh, I get it, man, that's so deep. Like That's kind of what I was, again, just sketching, like didn't go too far into it, but that's kind of what I was trying to do here, was like, there's a killer, and, you know, almost like a comic book cover, I guess, where they're, you know, very... Sty not stylized, that's not the right word I'm looking for. They're very um, expressive without uh, being literal, I guess. So, um, yeah, so this is an expressive piece. Um, try to fast forward through it a little bit here. Um, it just ends up being more of this, but I liked how it looked. But I don't think I'm going to do anything else with it, so we'll just leave it there. Just lots and lots of different angles of this killer figure and I'm I think I was implying that like this person's escaping I don't uh, again n not my forte and uh, yeah moving on to the last one here which is of this part which is just carnage um, it, it really doesn't pan out I didn't even remember what the carnage guy really looked like 
well, I knew what the Carnage guy roughly looks like in, in, from comics from a long time ago. So anyway, I just drew this real quick. And I had Carnage on the brain because I know that new movie is coming out pretty soon. So that was that. And then finally, oh gosh, I'm running out of time. I want to do this one. This one is such a disappointment because I, <laughs> I think you're such a disappointment. This one is such a disappointment because I lost the first, like, I don't know, 20 minutes of it, which sucks because that was the point. It was actually more than 20 minutes. I was at that coffee shop for a while. Um, but whatever. Things happen. So I am. Um, I'll fast forward through this one as well. Um, just, I wanted to come up with this idea of just like get wrecked. Uh, so <laughs> this guy, the general idea here is like this guy's washed up. His boat's all capsized in the background. He's washed up on the rocks and he's like, oh my gosh, I survived. And then out of the water comes this just horrifying, I don't know, zombie <laughs> wielding a claymore screaming at him in the waves. Just, and, and, and just, just Howard Dean screaming at him if he that reference may not land I wanted to create so yeah and then all of a sudden this zombie just springs out and uh, finishes the job I guess I was implying that this man or woman was trying to escape got hit on the rocks or maybe this guy pushed their boat into the rocks and was just like I'm gonna kill you and then proceeds to, sorry for the flashing lights there I was trying to figure out a lighting scheme um, yeah, and I lost so much of the block out, so I'm so sorry, but I'll, I, I, I just can't control when the thing crashes. Here I'm painting in the water and the waves. I really like water. I really like waves. I really like, um, them when they are painted well. Uh, I don't know that I paint very well with water in regards to water, except for I really, really am proud of, and I can't really take credit for it because it's just how it worked out, but really liking how the water looks in front of the claymore like i feel like that little swathe of water sort of underneath the zombie figure nailed it everything else i don't know but anyway um that's all i'll say about this one it just keeps going i just keep fleshing it out going back and forth adding more details and i'll put the final render up here yeah so kind of a weird one uh hopefully you enjoyed it um this was all of my drawings <laughs> for the past few days, so I'm going to have to do some more if I'm going to have more to show you. Uh, so I guess I'll go do that. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, ring the bell for notifications. And uh, visiting, if, if you like what you saw here and you want to see more of my artwork, please visit me over at uh, artstation.com slash creaturecraft. Uh, that is my portfolio page where I'll be putting these works and others. Not everything I do when I can. Everything I do here will be there, but not everything I do there will show up here, if that makes sense. So make sure, if you're interested in my artwork, that you check back every now and again. Um, so yeah, thank you for visiting. I hope to have another one of these up um, midweek next week. I'll do some drawing over the weekend. Uh, you guys have a good one. Thanks. Bye.